Hey guys, it's Adam here. Today I'm going to show you guys how you, yes you, can play any retro game on your computer for free. PC, Mac, doesn't matter. Uh, and by retro games, I mean Atari 2600, Atari 5200, Atari 7800, Atari Jaguar, Commodore 64, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, uh, Macintosh, uh, Namco System 22, Neo Geo CD, Neo Geo Pocket, Nintendo, which is like the NES, Nintendo 64, Nintendo DS, Nintendo GameCube, Sega Dreamcast, Sega Genesis, Sega Saturn, Sony PlayStation, Sony PlayStation 2, Sony PSP, Super Nintendo, which is the SNES, and the Xbox. Any of those you can play on your computer for free. Now, it's illegal to do this if you don't own the games already. Today I'll be demonstrating it, but uh, all these games I'm downloading today, I do own copies of. The reason you would do this is say you get a scratch. Say you bought, you have a, like, you have Grand Theft Auto for PlayStation 2 and you scratch the disc up, you have a backup on your computer, alright? Um, technically you could get these for free, even if you don't own the game and have any game you want in the world on these uh, systems, but it's illegal, so don't do it. Alrighty. Now that we've got that out of the way, first thing you want to do is go to CoolROM.com, which I'm already on right now. Go to the Emulators tab. Here's the Emulators. Now what Emulate means is to uh, play, to play something, okay? So Emulators will play these games. So you go to the Emulate, you click on the Emulators tab, and then find the system you want to play. Say I want to play the Game Boy Advance. Go to Game Boy Advance. Now, for all the for the different emulators, these are going. These ones are um, all PC emulators, right? If you're on a PC, just do this and then go to Visual Boy Advance. That is the best. Okay, you want to click on that, scroll down to this Download Now button, and click on that, uh, and it'll download. Or if you're on Mac, you go to the click the here button right here. Okay, it'll take here is the emulators Macintosh. So also go if you go to emulators and click on Macintosh, that'll also take you to all the Macintosh emulators. So basically it's the all the emulators. Uh, and here under arcade, it tells you what they uh or right here it tells you all the uh, different systems and then what all these emulators, what systems are for. So we find the one for the Game Boy Advance, which is the uh, I use don't use Boycott Advance. Use Visual Boy Advance. It plays Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Color games all in one. So whether you're on PC or Mac, you want Visual Boy Advance. Just depends which download link you're going to use. Whether you're on PC or Mac. But this 15 second uh, wait thing will pop up, an and there's an ad right there. Vacation. But uh, so just wait 15 terrain. seconds. Something for all of us. And the snow is so light and dry. And uh, we now you can right press your download your file morning, button. Right through the village. Download it's that. All here at Sun Peak okay, Resort. gonna but don't just open take that up. For it. It's easy to see what everyone and that's downloading right now. Okay, go away. Stop it. So, now that that's downloading, ba boom. Um, Oh wow. Okay, now that that's downloading, says 40 seconds left. Uh, that will download. Now I'm downloading. The emulator is going to be your biggest file. That's what's going to. Uh, will not. Okay, not necessarily, but uh, for this one it will be. It all depends. Um, I've also downloaded the PC SX2, which is the PlayStation 2 emulator. Um, for the Mac and PC. Okay, here, here, hold on a second. So there. Okay. So, uh, and that took like 30 seconds to download that emulator, but the games, I'm downloading Grand Theft Auto right now for the PlayStation 2, and it says two hours left. Um, I'm, that's because I'm filming a video right now and recording the screen, so it's a little bit slower, but it's, it's downloaded 350 megabytes out of 4.8 gigabytes. So, uh, depending on the system, the different games will be bigger files, but, uh, so yeah, there's that. But now we've downloaded our uh, boycott or not boycott events, Visual Boy Advance. We can go into our applications here. Hold on. Okay, applications. Um, find our Visual Boy Advance, which is right here. Okay, open the application. Open. Okay, and here it is. Now it's going to ask to open a ROM. 
Normally, I don't even open Boycott Advance. I never even open the app. Here's how you do it. Now that you have that downloaded, good. Make sure it's in your Applications folder. And uh, you can just head on and download your uh, games. Now, to download the games on Cool ROM, you want to go to the ROM Files tab. Find whatever it is you're downloading. So for me, we're going to be doing some Game Boy Advance games. Okay. And uh, you can browse any of these games. You can browse by uh, letter, browse by genre, top 50 downloaded, or top 50 rated. So that's all very cool. So, yeah. Let's just download Pokemon Emerald. It's at the top of every list, and I own it. So, here we are. Pokemon Emerald. Scroll down. Download now. Gotta do the wait the 15 seconds. But uh, then you're good to go, so. We just had an incredible ski vacation. That's great. They just had an incredible ski vacation. There's so much terrain. Something for all of us. Okay. Wonderful. So, here it is. And you can see, look how fast it's downloading. It's taking 10 seconds to download Pokemon Emerald. The entire game. 10 seconds. So, uh, that, the ROMs for the, uh, for old retro games like that are very, are very, uh, very fast. The biggest files they're going to download are going to be, like, out of all these emu uh, consoles you can play, the biggest ones you're going to have are probably going to be the PSP games, PlayStation 2 games, and Nintendo DS games. And then maybe, maybe the, uh, I don't know, maybe the GameCube. But those are probably going to be your biggest ones. The rest of them are really fast. So that's already downloaded. Um, let me just find it again. Sorry about this. Okay, show and finder. So here's Pokemon Emerald. It's a zip file, so double click on that. Open it up. Pokemon Emerald now. It's in a folder. And we have two files in here. We have Pokemon Emerald.gba and the readme. Uh, so let's just drag Pokemon Emerald to our desktop. Uh... <laughs> okay, um, okay, so I already have a file here of GBA ROMs, and I already had Pokemon Emerald downloaded, but um, I just demonstrated how to download it, alright? And then I would just make a file like I already have done with all my GBA ROMs, okay? So now, here's Pokemon Emerald. You can uh, right-click it and do Open with Visual Boy Advance, which is the application we downloaded, and here it is. Now, you're going to find it's going to be a little bit small, so we're going to go preferences under Visual Boy Advance, and uh, I personally am going to change it to size three. You know, emulator. Uh, do all that stuff. Okay, that's all fine. Now let it reset. We're gonna quit it so it can uh, restart. Now it's bigger. You can make it even bigger than this if you want. I'll show you how big it goes. You can go full screen or I guess my favorite is uh, times four. Right here. Okay. 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 There we go. Or I can do full screen, but uh, so you can see here we have the whole game, which is super awesome. Okay, ignore that. That's all fine. Um, internal battery. That just means the the game can or your console can run. The battery can run dry, but that has nothing to do with the emulator. That is all fine. So you can see we can choose new game options. Everything works. And um, if you're wondering how I'm controlling it, I'm using my my uh, up and down, left and right arrows. Arrows. X is the B by default. Z is the A. I mean, every emulator is going to be different, but you can go to preferences under the all the emulators and change it all. So, uh, I believe, or is it, can't be preferences. Uh, yeah, it should be preferences. You find it somewhere. Uh. Well, that's weird. Okay, I guess on um, on this one you can't, but uh, on many different emulators you can actually change the keyboard configuration. Just kind of play with all the buttons on your keyboard um, and you'll find the right ones. But uh, I guess I'll just quickly run through the game 
and show you um, that it works. Okay, and if you've ever seen anyone film uh, Let's Plays and, and they speed it up like this, what they're doing is holding down the space bar. That's actually like the speed button. But anyway, uh, tab, what's the select? Boom. As you can see, everything is working. We're playing Pokemon Emerald. Okay, this is the most nostalgic game in the world. I love this game. So, look at this. Like, and if you really want to shoot through the game, you can speed it all up. Let me just speed up for you so we can get around. And look at this. Okay, so this is really awesome. Anyway, and then, so that game took about 10 seconds to download. Uh, I down, I started downloading Grand Theft Auto. It's about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's actually an eighth way done. Um, but uh, I started like 5, okay, maybe like 10 minutes ago. So it shouldn't take too long uh, for most of these games, but... Again, all of the emulators you see there are the ones you are the uh, consoles you can play on Cool ROM. So, very cool stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hope it was kind of helpful, and uh, I'll see you guys later.